Hey, hey, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I am making chicken Alfredo in the Instant Pot. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Kristen and every Monday I share an Instant Pot recipe with you. So today I'm sharing chicken Alfredo. You only have to use the Instant Pot pan. So you just put everything in the pan, you cook it, and you're done. I first started with searing my chicken on both sides, but you don't have to do that. You can actually dump everything in and cook it. But I like to add just a little bit of flavor to the chicken, and the cook time goes a lot faster if you sear it. Now sometimes YouTube doesn't show you my recipes, so if you wanna make sure that you get my recipes every week, I started an email and I'm actually active on it. So. In the link in the description, you can find the email, and I'll be sending out an email about once a week of the YouTube videos that went up. All right, guys, if you're ready, let's get cooking. You're first gonna start with about two tablespoons of olive oil and put it on the bottom of your Instant Pot. Now, I pushed the saute button, I just didn't show that. So while it's heating up, I kind of swirled my oil around so it's all on the bottom of the pan. Next, I'm gonna add about two pounds of chicken. Now, I used small strips of chicken. If you use chicken breasts, just make sure they're gonna cook a little bit longer as they are sauteing in the pan. So I'm gonna add some salt and pepper while I'm here just to give it a little more flavor. You can add whatever you'd like. After a few minutes, I'm gonna flip over my little chickens. Chickens. <laughs> um, just so you can see, they're a little bit brown, but they're not cooked all the way through. That is what I'm trying to do. Once your chicken is browned on both sides, go ahead and remove the chicken from your pan. Now you're gonna add just another tablespoon or so of olive oil so you can cook your garlic. So I added about a teaspoon of garlic. I just put it on the bottom of the pot. Um, next, you're just going to mix that around just so the garlic will cook a little bit and once it becomes fragrant, you know you're good to go. Now, I don't want my pot to say burn, so I'm gonna add about a cup of chicken broth right now and just kind of scrape the bottom of my pan so I won't get that burn notice. Then I'm gonna add another three cups of chicken broth. So in total, I am adding four cups of chicken broth. Then you're gonna add two cups of heavy whipping cream. Now, I usually don't suggest putting milk and cooking it as it pressurizes, but with whipping cream, you can. So you're gonna add two cups. On top of that, you're gonna add one pound of your favorite pasta. Now, I used whole wheat pasta. You can use normal pasta too. It will have the same cooking time. Now go ahead and mix that pasta around just a little bit so all the noodles are covered in the liquid. Now just remember, your chicken is not cooked all the way through, so we're putting it back on top so it will actually finish cooking. Now go ahead and put your lid on. Make sure that it is tight and it closes correctly. Then you're gonna turn that little knob to sealing, not venting. Now because it was on saute, you need to push cancel. Then you're gonna push pressure cook or the manual button, depending on which one you have. And because they're thin chicken and they've cooked already, we're going down to six minutes. Then after a few seconds, it will turn on. That means you did it right, you can walk away. Now I wanna show you this. If you turn that little knob, ah, it's gonna explode. So make sure that it releases on its own. So just let it sit there for about 10, 15 minutes and it will release on its own. That little pin will drop and then you can take the lid off your Instant Pot. Now because it was thin chicken, it did cook in the six minutes. If it was thicker chicken, you'd probably need to go about 10 minutes. So right now I'm gonna take the chicken out so I can add the delicious cheese and mix the cheese in with the noodles. So I'm just using bagged Parmesan cheese, about two cups of it. If you want it to be really cheesy, don't have it pre-shredded. Just shred it yourself and it will turn out a better cheese. But I'm a little too lazy for that, so I just use the bagged shredded Parmesan cheese and it works just fine. So once your cheese is mixed in pretty well, go ahead and add your chicken back in. Now I chopped up my chicken so you could have more chicken in each bite and then just mix the chicken in with the noodles. Now, if your family loves cheese, you can always add a little bit more cheese on top. I feel like there's plenty of cheese and it doesn't really need a lot more, so I just added a little bit of parsley on top for the color kick. And that is really all there is to it, an easy, simple, cheesy Alfredo. 
Now, if you want more simple recipes, make sure to check out my delicious dinner ideas up top. Or if you are new to the Instant Pot and you need some ideas, go ahead and check out that second video below. That will help you get started. All right, you guys, I hope you have a good day. I will see you next week.